Good morning, children. This is our maths class. You know what? Calculation is really fun, and in maths we learn lot of calculation. There are four basic calculation in maths: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And in today's class, we will learn about addition. Have you? heard this word addition before what is addition addition means to put together in math addition means putting together number in mathematics addition means putting numbers together or calculating total number of objects children like we put objects together in math we can put numbers together and when we put numbers together we say we are adding and addition is signified with the symbol plus sign this is a sign of addition now let's take one example on screen you can see two sets of flowers in first set you can see three flowers in the second set you can see four flowers between both the sets you can see plus sign plus signifies addition and addition means bringing things together so what we are going to bring here together we are going to bring these flowers together so three flowers plus four flowers is equal to seven flowers let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 so after adding three flowers and four flowers together we will be getting seven flowers in a same way children in math we bring numbers together so 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 and numbers that we add together we call it addends and the result or the answer we get we call it total or sum addends can be two or more than two addition statements can be written can be written in two ways vertically and horizontally let's talk horizontally first horizontal addition statement means when when the addition statement is written in a straight sleeping line we call it horizontal addition statement and here number 30 and 52 52 are addends why because we are adding 30 and 52 so 30 plus 52 is equal to what 82 so 82 is our result is our answer so this is sum or total horizontal addition statement we use it we use it basically for smaller numbers now let's talk about vertical addition statement vertical addition statement when we write addition statement in straight standing line like this children so here 30 and 52 30 plus 52 is what addends and 82 is what sum or total is it clear now do you think we can find missing addends yes now let's see how to find missing addends let's take one example 10 plus dash is equal to 25 so first addend is given but the second addend is missing and the sum is given so can we find yes we can find it is simple you have to subtract given addend from the sum and you will be getting missing addend so for getting missing addend simply subtract given addend from the sum like here what is sum here 25 and addend given 10 so 25 minus 10 is equal to what 15 so 15 is our missing addend now let's check whether 15 is right or wrong 
what we have to do we have to add both the addends 10 plus 15 10 plus 15 is what 25 so we are getting some both the sums are same so this is right 15 is right so now i believe you are clear that how to find missing addends Let's revise addition properties. First property, closer property. Under this property, when we add any two or more than two whole numbers, sum we will be getting will be always whole number. For example, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10 verifies that the sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number. Let's take few more examples. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. So whenever we are adding whole numbers, sum we will be getting whole number. Now see what is the second property? Commutative property. Commutative property tells us that swapping the position of the number numbers doesn't affect the sum or result. Means if we change the order of the numbers, we will be getting sum same. It is not going to change. For example, 4 plus 7 is equal to 7 plus 4. Let's see how. 4 plus 7 is what? 11. And 7 plus 4 is what? 11. So this verifies that when two numbers are added, the sum is the same irrespective of the orders of the addends. See? Third property, associative property. Associate means to connect or join something. According to this, sum of three or more numbers remains same irrespective of how they are grouped. Means changing the groups of the numbers in the addition statement does not affect the sum. Now see here in this example, there are Two sets of number. In both the sets, numbers are same. Only the groups are changed. In first set, 3 plus 4 is making group. And in the second set, 4 plus 8 is making group. But this change is not going to affect the sum. Now see, 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 8, 15. Same here, 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 3, 15. You can see, in both the cases, sum is same. So, this exercise verifies when three or more numbers are added, the sum is the same, irrespective of the grouping of the addends. Means changing the groups of the numbers does not affect the sum. Now, fourth one, identity property. Here, an identity is a number which is always zero and zero is having no value. So, whenever we are adding 0 to any number, the sum will be number itself because 0 is not having any value. For example, 13 plus 0 is equal to 13. 66 plus 0, 66. 57 plus 0, 57 because 0 is not having value. So, whenever we are adding 0 to any number, the value remains same, the sum remains same number itself. So this exercise verifies if 0 added to any number the sum will be the number itself. I believe it is clear to you all. Let's take one example of addition. We will prefer large number. Our number is 2,63,045 plus 92,976. For adding large numbers, we prefer writing state addition statement vertically. And we always start placing numbers from 
right hand side that is from one column first we will place digits of the number according to their place value from right hand side that is from ones column once num number is placed we will start addition from ones column now see what are the digits coming in ones column 5 and 6 after adding 5 and 6 we get 11 and see what is coming in ones column 1 give this one to one here and what is coming in tens column carry forward to tens column now let's add tens column see what are the digits in tens column 4 7 add 4 and 7 that is what we are getting 4 plus 7 11 carry 1 12 so we are writing 12 here now see what is coming in tens column 2 so give this 2 to tens column and what is coming in hundreds column carry forward to hundreds column now let's add hundreds column What are the digits in hundreds column? Zero and nine. Zero plus nine. Nine. Carry one. Ten. So, see what is coming in hundreds column? Zero. Give it to hundred. And what is coming in thousands column? Give it to thousands. Carry forward to thousands place. Now come to thousands column. See what are the digits there? Three and two. Three plus two, five. Carry one, six. Is there anything in ten thousands column? No. What is there in thousands column? Six. Give it to thousands column. Let's come to ten thousands column. What are the digits there? Six and nine. So six plus nine, fifteen. What is coming in ten thousands place? Five. Give it to thousands column. And what is coming in lakhs column? Carry forward to lakhs place. Now come to lakhs column. What are the digit? Two and zero. So. Two plus zero, two carry one. That is three. Give this three to lakhs column. So children, let's revise once more. We always start addition from the right hand side. Before we start addition, we place number digits of the number according to their. place value from right hand side that is from ones column and we always start addition from ones column so 5 plus 6 11 1 will be here and 1 will be carry forward to tens column so 1 plus 4 5 5 5 plus 7 12 2 will be here and 1 will be carry forward to hundreds column now i do addition for hundreds column So one plus zero one plus nine ten. So zero will be here and one will be to thousands column. Now add thousands column. One plus three four four plus two six. So six. Now add ten thousands column. Six plus nine fifteen. Write five here and one carry forward to lakhs place. Now add lakhs place. One plus two is equal to Three. So our answer is three lakh fifty six thousand two hundred twenty one. So this is our total. Let's revise addition facts. First, 
Addition of small numbers can be done horizontally, but large numbers are added vertically. Second, adding zero to a number does not change the value of the number. It remains same. Third one, adding one to a number gives the successor of the number as the sum. And if added repeatedly is the same as counting. Fourth one, sum of the addition will be always greater than its addends. Fifth one, to find missing addend, subtract given addend from the sum. Children, I believe you all are revised what is addition. Thank you. Stay blessed.